Thank you for joining this session. Um, I'm Bill Winfrey, uh, a longtime member of the HP Plus team and previous projects as a partner to Palladium. Um, over the last 20 to 25 years, Spectrum has been an important part of communicating the impacts of scaling up essential health services, including maternal and child health, HIV AIDS preventive and curative interventions, and the demographic impacts of increasing family planning use. Until a couple of years ago, um, Spectrum was strictly a desktop software application. Users would need to download the software and or updates to use the tools. This frequently posed problems for users that did not have administrative rights to install software or were unaware of updates to the software. Um, over the last three years or so, Avenir Health has been developing online versions of Spectrum software. Uh, the first one that we, we put together was Demproj, which you're looking at now. The uh, second one, that we created was uh, a, the AIDS impact module, which communicates the impact of scaling up life-saving AIDS-related interventions. The third was the live save tool, which estimates the impact of scaling up essential maternal and child health interventions. And then finally, with support of USAID and HP+, we have built an online version of FAMPLAN. FAMPLAN is a tool that translates changes in family planning use, incidents of abortion, age at marriage, and breastfeeding practices into fertility changes, as well as estimates of the commodity resource needs for achieving family planning goals. You see here that we have three entry points for, for going into the FAM plan software. Uh, we have explore data, which allows you to look at historical data around family planning for any given country. The second is policy analysis, which allows you to do some quick, quick and dirty analysis to see what the impacts of, of different uh, policies are. And then the third is kind of the classic version of fan plan, which allows you to create a, a completely customized projection of family planning scale up. So first I'm going to take you, I'm going to take you through all three of these things quickly, given the short amount of time. So first I'm going to go to explore data. Okay. And it will, and then um, I always like to do Molly. So I'm going to click on this globe and I'm able to, I'll pull up the, the data for Molly. So right now, um, uh, the fan plan is communicating with the Spectrum Web um, server. OK, so we got Molly here and um, I want to look at family planning, so I'm going to select family planning. And um, again, I'm only going to be able to show you a few of the things that we have here, but I'm going to go. I'm going to show you contraceptive prevalence since that's what most people are most interested in in our group. So the con contraceptive prevalence, I'm going to create a create a display and you see for Molly that contraceptive prevalence has increased from about 5% in 1990 up to about 20% now. Also interesting to most people is the uh, the method mix. So this will be the second and last thing that I'll show you here. Um, although you see there's many other things. Um, I'll create a display here. And what you see is that the, these uh, bar charts are, um, each segment uh, shows the percentage of the uh, of family planning use, which is different methods. So in 1990, you see that there was, um, that uh, oral contraceptives, um, withdrawal, or no, it's periodic abstinence, and then other traditional methods were the lion's share of the method mix. And as we go over time until we get to like say 2022, now it's injectables and implants, which are the, the primary methods of use in family in, um, in Mali. Okay, so next I wanna show you a little bit of everything. So I'm gonna go to the policy analysis um, tool within fan plan. And let's see, I wanna do Mali again. So I click on Molly. I'll go find Molly here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so what we see here on the right are, are two bars. Um, one bar is showing kind of the baseline situation in 2018 for Molly. The um, the entire length of the bar shows you how many how many children an average woman in Molly would have if nothing was being done to um, to curtail fertility. And you see it's about 15.2 in Molly. And then the red section is the actual total fertility rate in Molly today which is about 6.2, it seems. Okay, so now the question we might ask ourselves is, uh, what would happen supposing, let's say, if we were to double family planning use um, from 17.1 to say 34.2? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna type in that number 34.2, and now you see that the red piece of the bar has decreased from say 6.2 or 6.3 to about 4.9. And then we see here, these various segments show you what exactly is um, is causing the reduction from that 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 large fertility. And we see that in, from comparing the top bar with the bottom bar, that it's um, 
that the uh, the decrease in total fertility rate was caused by this increase in contraceptive prevalence. Again, keeping in mind that I have just a limited amount of time, I'm going to show you the uh, kind of the main feature of fan plan, which is the projection. OK, so here, um, see, I got to give it. There's just a few things I have to do to, to create a projection. First, I have to give it a name, so I'm going to call this uh, Bill's end of project. End of project uh, projection for Molly. And then I got to change the country so that we load up the correct default data. That's something about fan plan. It's it's got default data for you know maybe 150 or 200 countries. Let's see. So I'm gonna click on Molly here, and then I can adjust the years, but I'm not going to. And I'm gonna create a projection. Okay. So once again, um, fan plan is communicating with the Spectrum Web um, server, uh, downloading data, and then once I get my data. I'm loaded onto my computer, I'll be able to create a projection of different things I might want to do. Okay, so the first thing we land on is a configuration. So you see here, for example, if I wanted to, I could um, adjust these methods. Here's just a standard list, but we can add in methods or subtract methods or make more detailed methods if we wanted to. I'm not going to do anything with that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to um, create a customized um, contraceptive prevalence scale up. So you see here, I can click on this little pencil and I can open up this contraceptive prevalence goal screen. And what I want to do is maybe I'm going to triple the um, the contraceptive prevalence from say 19.9 to what would it be 59.7 perhaps. 59.7. And the cool thing about fan plan and all the spectrum tools is that we can um, easily do scale ups. If I right click, if I highlight these and then right click, I can like interpolate between the two endpoints. So I'm going to click interpolate, and now you see we have a nice steady increase of like four percentage points per year, leading to about 60% there. Okay, so now I'm going to click on apply. Let's see. Okay, so we've got a new new goal. Now it's a steadily increasing up to 60. And then I'm going to look at results now. Okay, so once again, we communicate with the server to get the results. Um, calculated. OK, so now here's the uh, standardized standard results that we can get with with um, with fan plan. And we see here that the fertility total fertility rate, that's the number of births per woman on average, has reduced from about 5.7 in 2022 down to about 2. Point, was it 2.8? Yeah. And we see contraceptive prevalence increasing. Unmet need has decreased down to zero and the number of, z of users has increased from uh, about three quarters of a million up to uh, 3.3 million. Okay, you might think here now that's more than triple the number of users, um, whereas we only we we tripled it. Yet it seems to be we've increased the number of users by about fourfold. Uh, the reason for this is that the fan plan is linked in with the demographic projection um, for Molly. So over 10 years, the number of women who are aged 15 to 49 increases over time. So to meet our goal, we, not only do we have to increase the contraceptive prevalence rate, but we also have to meet the needs of those increased numbers of women. OK, now I'm going to show you just a little bit of um cool thing here is that we can look at different formats of, of output. So what I'll do now is I want to look at this in terms of, of tabular data. So here we have the results. We see that it's in terms of, you know, it goes from three quarters of a million to 3.3 million. And then I can take a look at the method specific um, users as well. So I click on this gear wheel and then I'm going to say I want to disaggregate by methods. So I disaggregate. OK, and then I click apply and we get there we go. Now we have the number of users necessary to meet that goal disaggregated by the different methods. So this kind of thing is extremely useful for like putting into uh, cost and implementation plans. For example, we can take this table directly and and put it into the cost of implementation plan to give an idea of what the commodity procurement is going to need to be over the next five years or 10 years. And the last thing I want to show you before I stop talking is that I'm showing you only a very, very small amount of, of the results that are possible. So here you see kind of the complete set of, of outputs which are possible. So you can see here like um, you can get CYPs, you can get numbers of acceptors, numbers of commodities, um, you can calculate impacts of family planning on maternal deaths, um, abortions, um, information around po or results around post-abortion care, et cetera, as well as 
there's a simple costing tool which is included with with fan plan. That is where I wanted to end. Um, are there any questions? If you could just you know, speak right up if you have questions. Hi, Bill. This Hi, is Bill. Susan this from is HP+. Susan Plus. Plus. Are there oh, any Susan online resources that could lead somebody through using the fan plan online? To my knowledge, there's currently not any online resources yet available. Although it's 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 pretty simple to to follow the um, the, the pathway through the tool. What we do have is is uh, help screens, which can be accessed by you know clicking on these uh, question marks. But but that's a great idea, Susan, to 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 create some online resources uh, like YouTube videos that quickly lead people through the the basic features. Um, thank you. Yeah, Hi, I think I know. These, hi, hey, Bill. Um, I think I know the answer to this. But in in terms of the display of the results, in addition to you know, getting more detail, one can download. The results to to a file. Yes, yeah, so let's see here. I'll pop up users here. OK, so yeah, there's a for this, for example, uh, you can download the table. So I click on that and it'll in the lower left hand corner. You see there that there's a it's been downloaded to my um, to my computer. And also you can copy and paste tables out of out of this into directly into Excel's if you were chose to do that. OK, and the follow up is that with the um, desktop version, you've got all of your spectrum modules sitting in front of you. So if if you're playing around with fan plan and you want to see what the implications of your scenario with fan plan is to, to the demographic situation in the country, you you'd click over back to to Demproj. How, how does that work with the online version? Actually, um, Demproj and fan plan are kind of open. They're um, I don't know what the word is. They're they're actually together here, so I can actually view results for the demography at the same time. Okay. It's here. So here we go. Yeah, I can click here, click on Demproj, and okay. you can get all the results for for Demproj. Okay. All right. And That's then cool. similarly, um, I didn't show it because I was trying to go fast. Is that you can also you know review demography as you're going through the fan plan. Let's see here, I can edit that if I chose to. Because because we have, you know the our um, what do you call them beta testers brought up that it would be very useful if we they could adjust the populations at the same time. But are there other questions that people have? We are at time, Bill. 